Oh, me three. Good minions on the mind. Uh, I saw the movie just yesterday, last night. It's one of the movies, one of the 12 movies I'm seeing this year that I plan to see. And I just want to do a real quick review. It's This is actually going to be a real easy one because it's... Spoilers, it's a mediocre movie. The movie's really good. It's going to be a longer review because it's like, ah, oh, it's really amazing for these reasons. Or if a movie's really bad, it's like, ah, oh, it's really bad because of these reasons. Or something like that. This is a... It's an okay film. It's just a continuation of the series. It actually was so so mundane it actually made me question <clears throat> like how much I liked the first one like it was, was the first one this kind of dull and after the movie I, I went back and started watching the first Despicable Me the one from 2010 so like I said it was I saw this one and I'm like I want to see the, the previous two now because the problem with it is I'm sitting there in a movie theater watching a comedy and not laughing. <clears throat> not even really amused. I mean, it just kind of, mm, this is okay. This isn't bad. Like, I want to like this more than I'm liking this. And all things told, it's it made me re-examine the first one. What I think first one really good, or at least very memorable, was the surprise of it. It had a lot of elements that you didn't see in, in movies a lot, uh, particularly where we're following a supervillain. And the world where there is a supervillain, and there's a whole bunch of minions, and there's no explanation of why there's little yellow guys with one or two eyes. And, I mean, did, did Gru, like, mix them up in a kitchen or a lab or something like that? It's, question. It wasn't explained and it didn't need to be. And so it was like kind of the weirdness of the premise itself and the way the premise played out that made it really interesting. When you got to the second one, it didn't add anything to it. It's just kind of the same premise with a few new elements added, the AV, the anti-villain league. So there's that added. And then this one just leads into that. There's very little added to it. So it's like, it doesn't feel special anymore. And without that specialness, that's what, what made it memorable. Just real briefly, uh, a couple things that were good about it. Trey Parker did a couple of voices in it, including the main villain? Yeah, I guess the main villain. Yeah, the main villain. He plays the main antagonist, about which I'll, once again, spoil nothing. Uh, he's really entertaining. Gru is still... It's still entertaining. It's, oh, is his name Steve Carroll or something like that? It's, it's pretty good. It's serviceable. I think little kids would enjoy it, although I was in a room full of little kids and I didn't hear, like, nonstop laughing or cheering or anything like that. It's like, oh, it's, you know, it's okay. I mean, I can't stress this enough. This is very middle of the road. This is a grade C. I want to say it's a C plus, but it's probably not. It just didn't add much. It's like, it was like, wow, this just relies a lot on slapstick uh, visual humor, like a visual slapstick joke. And I went back and watched the first one, and the first one did too, but the first one had original stuff associated with, like, you know, once again, minions and stuff like that we'd never seen before. And this guy who looks like he came out of a Adam's Family cartoon or something. Other than that, there's nothing to recommend it. Uh, it's like, I want to I wanna like Despicable Me. I hope they make more movies like it, but... This was kind of dull, unfortunately. What are the odds you're gonna see this and not like it? The problem with this one is, as as much as it's not great, it's not bad. I mean, it's, when I say see it and not like it, I mean like really, like, ah, oh, I wasted money on this sort of, that sort of attitude, and I think that's very slim. I'd say at best one in four. Like, there's a three-quarters chance you'll just see this thing and just be like, eh, this was okay. I can't imagine anyone loving the hell out of this. It didn't. It brought very little to the table. I mean, there were some fun moments with the minions, because there always are, but there were they were kind of sparse. Uh, other than that, the story was kind of blah. There were some side elements that were kind of blah, like I didn't care about, that I didn't think were interesting and didn't have an interesting or exciting resolution. I want to see this again.
No, I really don't. I really don't want to ever see this again. Once again, not because it was terrible, it's just it was just kind of dull. It wasn't even boring. Like, even if I saw somehow this review were transmitted into the past and I saw it, I would still want to see the movie at least once, because I've been a fan of this series. Although more, I mean to say, I was a fan of the first one, and the second one was okay, and this one was even more just okay. But eh, I don't really want to see it. It's not rewatchable. I don't recommend buying it at some point in the future. Like, if you're kind of in that place where you're like, like, I don't know if you really... There's no need to see this in the theater, first of all. Two, if you're in that place where you're like, oh, do I spend, like, the nine bucks to buy it, or do I spend the three bucks to rent it? Just rent it. You do, you only need to see this once. You'll be happy you saw it, because it's like, oh, this is the stuff I like, and it was okay. It was passable, and it was only three bucks to rent it. Or if you have a coupon, or I don't know. And that's that. I mean, this is all this is review. It strikes me... Mediocre movies make the easiest review, the, the dullest, too. Like, dull movies make dull reviews, because it's like, eh, it was okay. It wasn't bad. Nothing exciting. Nothing for me to really shit on. It wasn't terrible. There's nothing I could point to that would say, oh, it was good except for this awful one thing. It, nothing like that. It was just a little... It's just going through the motions at this point when the series... It really needs something to revitalize it, some idea or concept or character or something that's more interesting than... Than nothing, yeah. Then nothing more than the same old shit, and that's it.